Today I want to share a video about creating and sorting portfolio collections. Here I've got a clean photo supreme installation. Opening the portfolios section, there is currently only the default portfolio and collection. First, I will add photos to this collection, then I will demonstrate how to manually sort the photos in the collection, and how to create new collections. We're going to add a few pictures to my collection. These can be pictures from different folders, but can also be pictures from any of the other sections in Photo Supreme. A collection is typically created to keep a set of images together to serve a purpose that is meaningful to you. A simple example would be to create a portfolio for my holidays, and then create top-level collections for countries, and within that collections for the visited cities in that country. Then in each of these collections, I would collect the best images from the trip. These would then be the pictures that I use to show to my friends. This way I won't bore them with hundreds of images that I shoot during each trip. That's just a simple example. But as a professional photographer you could create a portfolio for customers projects. Then in that portfolio, create top level collections for each customer. And within each of these collections, you could create new collections per project. In this case I will just create a collection with a set of some nice pictures. Just for the purpose of this video. I will select some pictures from this folder. By then right clicking on a selected thumb, I select the operation, add to portfolio collection. This displays the currently existing portfolios. I will now add the images to the default collection that already exists. I will rename the collection later on. This collection has now three images added to it. Let's also add a few of these car images. Again, select Operations and then, Add to Portfolio Collection. Notice that the shortcut is Command-Shift-B. Windows users can use Control-Shift-B. And now I'll add a few pictures from the Emotions folder. And add them to the collection as well. In total I have added 8 pictures. Open the portfolios section and drill down to my first collection. Notice the 8 images that we just added. They are now sorted by file name which is not the order I would like to have them in. But let's first rename the collection. I will name it my best of. In this case I want to sort the images manually, I want to have full control over the sequence in the collection. To do this I click, and, drag it over another image. When I hover the dragged image over the left or right side of a thumbnail it will highlight the drop area. When I drop it there, it means that this photo will be positioned to the left side of the dropped image. I'll get a one-time warning that the sort order changes to a manual sorting. This picture should go to the right of this one. And this one to the right. And this one, I want to have that here. Then the car picture. This one goes here. And this one here. The collection is now sorted how I like it to be. The sort order is persisted. The next that I will visit this collection, Photo Supreme will have remembered the positions. Now to create a sub-collection. I could do collections per year. The best of 2018. The collection type defaults to standard. I'll do another video soon that demonstrates the use of dynamic collections. Those are really powerful. 
The sub-collection is accessible below the collection. I can then add more pictures to this collection. I'll add a few from here. Add to portfolio collection and select the collection. These two I can now sort manually. Here at the parent level you see the sub-collection as its own thumbnail. Double-click it to open it. I can also add one image to different collections. Even within the same hierarchy. I could drag this image to the 2018 collection. This collection now also contains the balloon image. Let's put it here. By clicking the counter, you can get all the images in this collection, with all images from sub-collections as well. This was a very basic explanation of what you could do with portfolios, but I hope it helps you to get started and building your own portfolios.